Morning everyone, we're going to talk about my cuts game, the semifinals versus Curtis. If you haven't actually watched the game, go to Lucas's channel. I'm going to be watching from Lucy, Lucas's channel. Um, and I don't want to spoil the ending if you don't want it spoiled. If you want it spoiled and want to hear me talk about uh, my thoughts, then stick around. Um, I will tell you who won and stuff right away. So I did lose this game. Um, it was a close one and you'll see some moments. Um, and we're basically just going to go through the game. I'm going to, I'm going to go to specific moments. My goal here is to point out some, some hindsight tactical things. I think I, I would have done dip, could have done better. Um, we'll point out, I don't want to say some dice. So there are dice rolls both ways that like hurt and help. And I think it's not fair to focus on them. I think it's fine to point them out and say, oh, this was an important role. And I also think it's fine to be like accepting that. I don't even like how people talk about Marvel dice and dice spikes. Like, I think the way Marvel dice work, the end result feels very spiky. Like, um, across the Biofrost did a very good episode on this. I talked about the heuristics of like, I think it was like a five dice attack versus three. Like the chance of getting one, zero, one, two are all like 25% and three plus is like 20, something like that. Some mathy thing where it's like, it's not as unlikely as you probably think it is, but the way it pans out with rolling crits and you know, oh, I rolled five hits, but they rolled three blocks to get to two as opposed to rolling zero and two. You know, there's all these moments that it feels very swingy and it's just like, that's just what happens. And usually... There's moments both ways, and, you know, one of the ways I play is to, I don't want, I think it's a very good, it's to roll a lot of dice. Like, you can't, if you roll six attacks during the game and they fail, well, that's, you only rolled six attacks. Like, that's your fault for, like, not rolling enough dice to some extent. Now, there are teams that do better at, like, diceless stuff, you know, with natural power gen or, or leadership power gen, like, uh, Hellfire kind of stuff. Curse makes attacks in this game, um, not as much as I do, I don't think. Um, anyway, so let's just talk real quick. All right, we're going to go through each turn. I'll tell you things I would have done potentially there. So team-wise, it's Scrawls, Sparks. Um, he had Pryo. He chose his Secures. I did have, we both had these in our Secures. We only lacked, we only changed. I had Infinity Formula. He had, uh, the other D-shaped Cosmic Invasion. And then I had Virus and he had Cubes. I would have picked my Extracts because I didn't want to play Cubes. It was the only thing I didn't want, I think. My team's just not tanky enough to handle holding cubes while he has the healing and all this stuff, so it was never going to be... Yeah, I didn't want cubes, put it that way. Um, would I have liked to have seen a different crisis? I, I would have picked Cosmic Invasion over the healing. I mean, I did use the points to heal, but I think the healing helped Curtis more in the very end, um, mainly because I was more of the aggressor, so if I, th I think if it was Invasion, I would have been... It would have been different. I mean, we would have had different moments for sure, but I healed a lot too, so I can't complain. That. I mean, Extremis is probably Hellfire's best one, but I, I mean, I people say that all the time, and I mean, it is good, but I mean, when I played the Suns game, I beat him on Extremis, and when this game was very close to just me winning it as well, so I guess it's it's they're beatable on it for sure. Um, deployment wise. Nothing too... So, like, Shang's up here. Just to look at this point, potentially go at it. I like that this is a stopper. If I pick it up, I can't get pushed too much closer to him. I He's six wide. I'm five wide. I have I can go first. I guess one thing... I should have passed at some point. Did I ever not pass? Maybe I didn't pass at some point. Um, maybe I did. Uh, would be to... So, like, the way he set up, like, he's probably not going to double walk Bill down here and grab this. If he gets scrolled and pushed in the magic and voodoo, it probably sucks. So, um, I do want to take his. So, if I had Pryo, I would have definitely taken his set, his scroll. I was wondering if he was going to come take mine. Um, anyway, the idea was I wanted to take his scroll. I wanted Strange to have a chance at mine. I wanted him to have a chance here. I wanted one of these to have a chance here. And then, depending on what he did first, I probably would have took his. I think I would have took this one if he didn't get it first. I would have went up here. Because he ends up going with Bishop. 
So let's just fast forward ahead. Okay. Rhino probably should have been down more so that I could guarantee. Like, it was close to get here. Um, we picked up four scrolls between us and no one got pushed. So I guess we can say happy happy days there. Now, my Rhino did block his toad from, from pushing even if he rolled it. So it didn't really matter. Um, there's really no way to push him. And so now we're in this situation where this is after we got every scroll. He has one here. I have one here. We have both in the middle. I have Shang and stuff. Do I pass? I don't even know. He does his thing. I might have just passed. I had to have passed right here, right? Oh, he had Pryo, so I can't pass. That's right. I didn't have Pryo, so there was no passing involved. I don't think anyone ever passed, so. Okay, he walks Akoi on the point, creating his little bunker. Strange goes up, attacks Toad. He gets to fall back. That's fine. Like, there's only so much I can do. Like, I walk up and, and maybe... He has his leadership. It doesn't matter. I'm just trying to build power. And because I got two power, I was willing to teleport Rhino to the side so he didn't get, like, attacked by Emma, Rhino, like, a bunch of people. And just to kind of go over there. Was it necessary? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, at least now if he gets attacked, I can bump onto the point. They're looking at cards, blah, blah, blah. So, so this is probably the play where... So he has Bill and Rhino left. Emma walked up. No, Emma is gone. Yeah, she walked up and did nothing. So now I'm deciding here. I probably should have just moved Voodoo down. Because there's like, there's probably no way he, I mean, he might double walk. I mean, I was worried maybe he walks his Rhino, attacks my Rhino, and tries to robbery. Um, magic. I guess that was something. I guess he could double walk Bill. I, I think I could have waited one turn for for the shang move i was just going aggressive i mean it is i don't want to say it's unfortunate he took a lot of damage i mean he took two i just double walk i should have probably just put him i should have put voodoo up farther i should have been so scared of rhino doing this thing so the thing with rhino here like this was probably i'll, I'll say it was a big role in a sense that if if he doesn't if he so first off shang has the thing where he can throw somebody now rhino can place in a way to basically make the kind of neutralize the throw so there was never going to be like this amazing throw angle there is some cute stuff where like you can adjust no i can't because i can't bump till afterwards so that's right there's nothing I can do. I'm never going to get to, like, throw him into Bill or something like that. Um, which is sad. But it does let him throw the car at me, which burns my brain. Like, him doing one damage with Rhino, which was, like, 60-ish percent, was unfortunate. I mean, it's not unlikely. I mean, it's, it's five dice in the four dice blank, so it could go either way. It was just, I think it, it was definitely one of those attacks early that could have definitely gone the other way if I didn't take any damage from it. Like, if I'm sitting on two without with Brace is a much different, like, turn two, but it, it's fine. So we go 4-4. Four, four. Um, we go with Shang. Is there something I would have done different here? Potentially the angle at which I went in. I probably didn't have a ton of choice. I probably didn't have a ton of choices here. Shang does zero damage to Koi, pushes Bill and stuns him. Shang one-shots Toad. Okay, that was a good roll for me. I'm not going to deny that. Um, one-shots Toad, who had one damage, pushes Koi off the point, stuns her, picks up the thing, gets pushed down there. Um, what does he do? So now he's in the... So I, I, I've, 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 I've accepted that Shang is going to die. Like, I'm not sitting here being like, Shang is going to live. I'm going to make him work for it while my other models get to do things. Um, okay, I get to... I go with... Strange... What does he do? He picks it up with somebody? No. Okoye removes stun and walks back onto the point. So that's... You can see there. I walk up Strange. I attack Okoye. So Okoye's on full health. I think it's like 50% chance to kill her with... My double attack. So, like, this is, like, I think the, if I had to say a moral besides the commentary of, like, things I will point out that um, 
not went wrong, but like besides like the general like oh this could have been better type crap. Um, like the like Akoya lives through a, lives through a lot, which which just makes it far more annoying. Um, so this it's annoying here because she takes three, and she had already activated, so I wasn't gonna give up Pryo. So that was one reason I just went in and attacked her. And like I know Curtis's playstyle, he's probably not going to like throw a million attacks at me because he doesn't want to power me up. Um, but he ends up doing it, so I guess maybe I'm wrong there. Because um, he had some like Bill kill Shang with the truck, which is fine. I knew Shang was gonna die. I think he. What's he do here? Does he attack Strange? He attacks Strange with Bill and got a really nice hit. Like on five dice, yeah, he did three damage, which ends up helping me to be fair. Um, so my Rhino goes. And then I attack Okoye, and she lives through the fucking shit again. Like, like it's fine. It's just, there's so many chains. Like, she took five dice, five dice, six dice, five dice, and survived the turn. On You know what I mean? Like, she took a Shang attack. They were Mystic, too. I don't, so I don't actually get too flustered by dice in the middle of the game. There's probably only one. That, I mean, I, I probably have commentary here. Like, come on, Rhino. But probably the only... Like, I don't think about it as much as when I'm looking at it, like, now. And I still don't look at it in a sense of, like, oh, I got unlucky. It's more of just, like, a, oh, that could have been big if I would have killed it. Because the reason with, with Strange, too, when a Strange attacked a Koye, if I kill a Koye, I get four power, and I would have teleported Bill or Rhino, like, away from me um, to make it more difficult. Because at this point when so if you want to just talk about like what i was thinking at the time like the idea was to go up try to kill a koye and then like teleport bill or rhino like across over here like back behind this thing maybe over by emma um reason being is it just makes it like so i have a scroll it just makes it harder for him to get the scroll again not the end of the world and a little annoying that she didn't die Okay, here I try to attack her again. Nothing really happened. I heal Strange. I heal Strange. Strange bumped in the range of the, of the console. He ends up being just out of magic here. And he attacks Voodoo instead. Which I block all but one. He goes to the back point. He didn't have... He didn't have... He couldn't robbery anyway, so it's not like a big deal. Um, magic had gone into nothing. I did like a passing activation. And then here, hmm, I could have bumped away from the console. I just, uh, do I attack a rhino? One, two, three, four, five, six. I think I attack a rhino. Yeah, I do. How much damage do I do to him? I do one. But yeah, sap the power. I did damage. I almost rather not done any damage and just sap this power. And I walk, but I get his power and I walk over and I steal from from him. Um, let me see what else. Uh, so Voodoo takes his stuff. So I'm up three to one. He walks over. I think this was a mistake by him. Um, I mean, I, I don't think throwing, I know why he did it, but I think throwing Strange into, throwing Strange into Voodoo was a mistake just because it gave me the 10 power I'm going to use next turn. Um, And so we go seven seven. So this is a big turn. This is like my big turn. I okay. I teleport over here because I want to be within one of the thing, and I want to be within two of everybody. Um, I do an AOE I again. Don't kill a koi, which would be really nice if she died. I do one shot toad. 
I do some damage to Bill, I do some damage to that, and then I do a basic attack that kills a Koye, then she gets the body gun. So again, it's like one of those things, again, I'm just, I'm complaining because I'm complaining, but like a Koye living through the spender means that she gets the bodyguard my next attack, so she already eats another attack, instead of getting to maybe attack the, the bishop, the bishop on three health, and, and maybe kill him just through that, right? Because bishop's on three, I get to do a, a pierce, he has a reverse pierce, but if I roll a pierce, I pierce his, so the chance of, chance of killing him is probably actually decent. Um, okay, he, he throws me... I don't know if he was going, like, he wanted to be within three for the incinerate, or he didn't want to be in three, three, but he throws me into the car, I bump back into sack range, he shoots me, I have three dice blanks, he rolls a shit attack again, this is where it's, like, both ways, right, like, I can complain about the attacks into Koya and stuff, but in this particular turn, he attacks, he attacks Shang twice, with Bishop, and throws him into a car, and does two damage total, so, like, like, I can't, I can't complain too much about that. Like, for every complaint I have, like, there's always another side of it, is what I'm trying to say. All right, so Strange goes in. Or not, Shang goes in. Um, I attack Bill. I whiff on Bill. I whiff Bill. He plays... Um... He plays fallback, so I can't spend on him, which is, is just smart. Uh, so here's a decision point where I ended up spendering Bishop and did four. And I could have just basic attacked Bishop, healed myself. I didn't have... I couldn't walk anywhere. Um, and I could have made... I could have done the push to, like push him off the point. He ended up dying, so it didn't really matter, but um, I could have had one more health. Uh, let's see. Bill... Does he do anything? Let's see. Let's see. So he walks with Emma. I don't even know how close. It's pretty... It's not close at all. Okay, so I really couldn't have got out of that easily. Maybe... You know, with the positioning of Rhino and stuff, I think Shang was destined to be attacked. I mean... And to be fair, like... Like, he rolls eight dice versus my four with blanks, and he pulls seven damage with the throw. Like, that could easily, if that whiffs, like, that's a huge turn if it whiffs. Obviously, again, both ways. There's things that happen where, if like, Toad didn't die and stuff, so. But, like, these are big moments where, like, he spiked his damage and killed Shang. We, we counted wrong, and Shang ended up dying, which is, it happens. Um, what happens? Because I have some big rolls here, too. So, at this point, I have to go. I know I have last activation. I can't pick up any scrolls because everybody has one. I think, I think here I do Rhino, right? This is where, no, I did Magic. This is where I should have not done Magic. This was a big mistake, okay? This was like a tactical mistake, right? So, he's sitting on, so two things. He's sitting on five power. So, he can robbery and take my scroll. No matter what. I don't even know if he's within one inch of me right now, to be completely honest with you. It 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 actually does matter because if he is, he can rob me and then just double walk away, which he does anyway. I shouldn't have attacked him. I should have just went with Rhino and did the play from before, which is I should go... I, like, the only person he's in range of is... Like, should have go attack Bishop. You'll see what I do afterwards. I shouldn't have attacked him. And then I should have also... When he was on 10 power... Like, right here, I should have bumped one away from him. To... Well, it didn't matter. I should have just walked away. Because... Or, or teleported away. Some distance. Because... Well, he would have just stayed on that point then. He's going to throw... It. And the reason I shouldn't have gone with her, I should have been last is... Let's just say that in isolation... One, he wouldn't have had so much power, and he ends up just healing it anyway. But in isolation, if he robs me, and I get last activation with magic, and he robs me and runs away, magic gets to walk to that point and take it back. Now, obviously, the other things would have happened that you'll see, and so I can't really say any of that. So what's he end up doing? So, okay, he robs me, and then picks it up and pushes him. 
And then he has to double walk, slide, walk, walk over there. Fine, okay. Again, he wouldn't have had that much power to do that. So that play would have been much different if if I would have just not gone with her and given one, given him power, and one, two, um, walked. Anyway, I gave him a lot of power. I shouldn't have given him for no damage. What happens now? He went with Rhino. Okay, so yeah, who knows what would have happened? Because I had, I should have done the Rhino activation first. So Rhino ends up killing Bishop. Great. I put it under Strange. Bill's possessed right now, so he can't pick it up. I attack Emma. I get a nice spike where I do four. I technically needed to do... Oh, that's his. How much did I need? How much power did I have? I had two power... Okay, I didn't need to do... I needed to do zero damage, and I would have got to do the slide play. And then I slide... So I put that way, so I slide and stay within three. I was thinking about sliding and throwing that at Emma to try to kill her, but it, it's not worth it. She has braids. I don't have that many throws, anyway. He walks in, Bill. I mean, this is a build, bad build activation for him, right? He walks in. He throws away Strange. Great, that's fine. And then... My spender also healed a bunch of damage, so that was nice. And so here's where... So Bill throws him away. He attacks Voodoo. I probably would have liked to get a power. In fact, probably not taking a damage sucked. Because he attacks Voodoo. No, I don't think I could have bumped to the point. I don't know where the point is exactly. Where is it? Before Bill moves, let me look. Where's the point? Uh, would have been close. I, I don't know if I bump up to that statue if I get on the point or not. If I do, then it's huge. Uh, if I don't, I'm going to just like the power too. So like I'm sitting at three power. If I take a damage or two, I could possess and walk away for one. So here... I spiked the shit out of Bill with my voodoo. Didn't even roll a skull. Damn. So this is where I spike him. And he has no power, so he can't prevent the four. And then I throw I have to throw him as omnidirectional. I he really was kind of tight in there. Maybe there's a gap to go downward, but he's probably hitting something. He decides to just die, which is probably honestly smart. I had another action. He didn't want to die at the top of the turn. So I, I do that. Now I have a decision to make. I can walk on that point and get an extra point. Or I can walk over to Rhino and make him drop his, which gets a net negative point for Curtis. So we would have been in the situation here where it's either 11 for me, 9 for Curtis, or vice versa. Now, again, Voodoo play couldn't have been the last play if... Well, see, that's the thing, too. Like, he has to decide his ordering. This is where I think the turn, the, the ordering really matters. Because I should have did the Rhino play before. So I went Magic, Rhino, Voodoo. And he went, and then he went, once Magic went, he went Rhino. So I wouldn't have known, like, yeah, I think that was a huge misplay by me. Because Luscious, again, this is the thing about about this game like I can say I would do this different but then Curtis had the option to not activate Rhino like he could have held Rhino as long as he wanted and or he could have attacked differently right there's things he could have done differently and so it's not fair he could have walked attacked um my Rhino and then stole mine right but like this play with Rhino this path I took here could have happened before this Rhino and magic stuff happened in, an, in a bell so if I do that so we would have been in, like, I don't want to harp on things, but I think it's good for learning. This is also when, like, anyone ever tells you after a game, like, oh, you both played, like, really well and perfectly, and there's nothing you do different. It's the biggest horseshit I've ever heard in my life. Never believe you played perfectly. Never believe you even played that well. Because I watched this game after I played it last night, and I could find, like, eight things I did, we'll say, wrong. Um, 
or just think you could do better. And I'm sure Curtis can find stuff too. But that's how you get better by looking through and admitting you're not perfect at this game. There's things you could do. So we're sitting in this situation here. Because let's just say I do the Rhino thing, and now he would have Rhino here next to Magic, and I have Voodoo, and he has to make a decision of what he wants to do. I don't think this changes. Like, I don't think Rhino being down here, like, I still think he eventually has to rob me. And so if he decides to go with Bill next, maybe I can do the Voodoo thing. I guess it's always going to be a pain in the ass, because if I do the Voodoo thing, like... After Voodoo does his thing, Rhino would be down here, and Rhino could choose to either come down to Voodoo. Because there was a scroll on the ground. So, okay, Rhino had some options. It wasn't as clear as that. But maybe then it was probably better for me to make Rhino come down here and steal. Um, did I have one on Voodoo? I did. But it would have kept me on Rhino. So how did the turn end? The turn ended with one on the ground. So I guess Rhino, depending on where I put... I guess Magic having it... I guess Magic having it would have been... Better in the long run. But he could have picked up the one Bill... Oh, Bill didn't have one. He could have just picked up the one off the ground with Rhino. But then Rhino has one and he still has Robbery up. But then Magic has it. Maybe it's still net okay. So I did have the choice to possess Rhino and make it, instead of 9-11, it could have been 10-8. It's, it's tough. I think in the moment, I think I'm in a position where I have two scrolls, one on the ground. Emma's almost dead. He has a bunch of people on the flip side. where And Rhino's off in his Neverland. So, like, I, I think part of my thinking here is, you know, I still have robbery if I need it, um, that if I have a decent turn, I maybe just close it out and score five instead of, like, kind of forcing. If I, if I go 8-10, even though Rhino doesn't have one, which is good for me, and he'd be out of power, so he'd be on kind of real shitbed type situation, potentially. Um, yeah. This is where he attacks me with Bill. So he picks up the scroll with Bill. And then gets pushed. And then he hits me with the hammer. This is probably the biggest... This is the next biggest attack. So the Emma one was a big one he got. Again, he got ones that were bad. But this was a huge one too. So I get to... Like I bump in the sack to at least stop. But he gets to throw me. So I think it's 25%. To die to this combination that he does to me, which is the hammer throw into, let's just say I had, he, he got the guaranteed by throwing me back. But let's just say, for example, that it was, he could throw the statue at me. If he gets to throw the statue at me and do the hammers, it's like 25% to gaze me. So, um, like if he had to walk here and throw the statue, it's about 25% chance to survive it. And the whole combination. So... I don't know, you could say unfortunate, but... So he does a good play here, but like... So let's just say Voodoo lives through this. Obviously, this is super hindsight. I think that would be a moment where... Like, the game could really turn on his head if Voodoo gets to activate here. Because he can do things like... So he's sitting on 10 power. He could just maybe kill a Koi before she goes. Or double, like, spend her bill. Um, to try to kill him. Again, Okoye being alive is really obnoxious. Um, but he did a good job, like, throwing Strange down here so that I only have three power. Like, I'm in a bad, like, power phase, power situation um, with Strange. Like, I'm going to have to walk and do something. And Magic's in nowhere land. So Magic's job at this point is just, like, hold a point, which is unfortunate, but uh, it's the life she lives down there. Um Maybe, so she paid for books. Maybe Strange should have paid for books. And Magic should have kept her four power. So that she could walk, walk, teleport, just get in the fight. Like, there's probably a moment where, like, maybe I could lose a point to, like, just sack something. We'll see. I forget exactly. Um, so this is where I go with my Rhino? Yeah. 
so this is a moment. This is probably a moment tactically that I think I really messed up. So he does a good play to bump in and transform. And he takes the attack on a Koye. And I'm fine with that. I do two damage, which was nice. So what I'm thinking here is I can kill a Koye and Emma. Because Emma can't use her reactive brace in this form. So I'm like, all right, cool. I'm going to try to kill them both. And I, and then so I slide to stay within three. So right now I slide to get the seven dice. I'm within three of, out of two of a Koya, so she doesn't get blanks. So I get near that dumpster, and I say, okay, I'm gonna throw the dumpster at Emma. Then I'm going to attack a Koya, and hopefully daze them both. And then maybe I'm in a good position from there. Um, she survives that. She rolls her hoop blocks. And then I attack Emma saying maybe he'll bodyguard it with a Koye. I should have made that. Like, that's not the decision. So Koye has so much power that, like, I should have decided right here who I want to die. Right? Because it's either a Koye or Emma in theory. I probably, I should have killed a Koye. 100%. I should have just killed a Koye. Because Emma's on one life. She's in her shitty diamond form. Right? She's not even that good in this side. Voodoo's dead. Magic is down there. Rhino's the only one that she can really attack. And I don't think I don't think he wants to give my Rhino that much power. You'll see by the way he does his next turn. And I so I think killing So I don't even think throwing the piece of terrain at Emma was good there. To be completely honest with you. I think I should have saved the power. And just said, okay. Like right here when I got when I slid, I should have said, all right, I'm going to attack a Koye, hopefully kill her, place off of her, and either keep the power, but like I would have I spent three to slide. So I'd have five power. I guess Emma could have picked up a token. Like it's not completely fair. I should have killed a Koye right here, I think. Because I, because the thing is, then it's an activation gone. But it's not only just, an, like, it's either a shitty Emma activation or it's an Akoya activation. So he gets an activation either way. But it also keeps me priority, but it gets a model gone for next turn. Because you'll see it kind of, it actually cascades, at least in my opinion, to something bad. All right. And then I do a, a horrible thing of, I should have placed, I placed here, like, in case he attacked me, I get to bump back to, like, the point. But... Curtis is never going to do that. Like, I should have realized right here that he's not going to attack my Rhino. And he's going to just try to win off of, like, throwing me in weird places. Let me just look at something. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong Rhino. You're not going anywhere this morning, right? Sorry. Sorry, my wife was clearly not paying attention, and she came in and started talking to me. Um, so she's in the video now. Um, what was I saying? Maybe me lose my train of thought. Yeah, I should have killed. He threw me down there, which was very good by him. So, I, like, I could have just... I should have placed, like, butt to butt with her, or, like, in the mix of things. There's a moment where, like, I should be like, he's not attacking me. I, I'm just, I need to go like this. Because he was starting to run away. And and it, it, it probably it was a good play by him to do that. But it, it still made it close. Like, but I know he, he's like that. That's the kind of player Curtis is. Um, so, what did I do? I, so, I go up a strange. And then I finally try to kill a Koye again. Fucking do one damage. Just, oh, oh. Just, she just took so many fucking attacks. I'm just, she tilted the balls off me. Like, she she seriously tilted the shit out of me. Um, with that kind of shit. Like, now looking back, like, the amount of fucking strange attacks. It's just fucking insane. Um, in hindsight. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's, what's going on? So Emma's dazed. Oh, yeah. Emma's dazed. That's why she didn't do anything. Who gets lost activation? Me? Him. I should not have. So I actually thought about teleport. Because I have four power on strange. I actually thought about teleporting Bill towards 
Um, towards uh, magic to give magic something to do. So, like, I think I measured it, like, what it would look like. Let's see where it would be. Because I did it before Stranger's turn ended. Yeah, so I would, she would have ended up there. The problem is, he would have been there. I don't think I could have double tapped him. The thing is, I don't think I could have double tapped him. Which, but I would have got him away from a clay. So maybe I should have did that. I probably should have teleported his ass away. And then just... Because I even could have, like, again, it's one of those things where, like, I could have teleported him away and maybe gone after him. I also played books again, and maybe I shouldn't have done that. He has, like, no physical attacks. I probably was a mistake to play books this turn, to be honest with you. Yeah, I was a... He had Bishop, who has no attacks. Sequoia, well, it helped for Sequoia, so I'm not going to say no. Well, she, that should have been good, I guess. Um, yeah, he might be on a ranger. I think he would have attacked me if he could have. And then we just stand there. And then last turn... I planes him, I teleport a clay so he can't bodyguard, I attack Bill, I do damage, he recal it, and then he rolls two blocks to my two. I get to reroll my skulls, so. Yeah, that was a big deal there, too. That sucked. Damn. I might have should have gone with, this is where, like, a koi, this is like the, the cascade, right? So, like, if I kill a koi instead of Emma, we're in a situation here where Emma's on one health, right? I have priority. is dead. We don't know what the board state is exactly. So I'm not going to, again, can only talk so much about it. We don't know what the board state is exactly. But now, you know, even if we just flip and say the Rhino thing would have happened, we don't know what, I don't know what Emma's turn would have been. But, like, if we're starting this turn without Akoya alive and, like, Emma's on one, maybe two because he would have got to a point to heal. Um, he could have got, he could have double walked to the back point. Maybe Bishop doesn't go to that back point. I, again, I don't know what he would have did, but we're in kind of a different moment of, like, okay, maybe now I can planes of Poldock, uh, Bill and just fucking double tap him with, with, like, voodoo spenders, Right? kill him and pick up the thing and now I have an advantage there. And now he's down two models and Emma's on one in diamond form just being a shitter. Um, or like, you know, it goes the other way where you, you make a play to maybe kill both of them and they're just both die. Um, or then, or even then you like, I end up like a Koya is not here and then I daze Emma instantly and so now he's down two activations, and I get last activation, which would be big. Okay, so stuff like that. I teleport her away. Okay, I, Bill, he recals it. I kill her, and then I teleport. I don't know where I should have teleported Bill. I was kind of in a bad spot. Maybe I should have teleported. Honestly, you know what I should have did there? I should have teleported. Uh, he had three power on him. I guess there's a world where you teleport. <laughs> uh -huh voodoo somewhere but we'll just go through I, I could talk about this last turn a long time but i've been talking a while already um he runs bill away i probably shouldn't go with i shouldn't chase him like right now okay bill's in a corner he has two i should i don't know where to go though like this is this is i, I don't know where i should go i should just hold him he's not in trouble though he can walk up throw a building at me and then spender me with Emma. That's that's the big problem, like Emma being alive on this side is he can do that and get both of them. And if if I die to it, it's really bad. Like if, if they both die to it, it's really bad. Um, I go chase that point and then he does a very this was probably his best move was throwing 
was walking up and throwing Rhino so that he couldn't get to any point. I mean, I couldn't... I, I, I didn't have last activation, so I was kind of fucked in that case anyway, but... Um, so people talking will talk about... So yeah, he walks up Emma, doesn't... Strangers on one. So we're in this situation where all I have left is magic and all he has left is Rhino. <laughs> people were talking about, like, if I leave this point... Like, the game just ends because I don't make it to the other side. But for the people who are like, oh, anticlimactic. Like, at this point right now, if he walks over and does one damage to Strange, I lose the game. If I don't move Magic. Alright? So, like, be clear. I have to either... Magic has to stand on a point and Strange has to live in this current situation. Right? So, it's like 97% chance he's, he kills Strange. It, like, it's super high. I don't know the exact math on getting to the other side. I did the math afterwards, or I looked at it, and it's very close to making it to the other side. I'm probably, I'm probably a, a, a fraction out. I think you have to be like exactly one inch on the interior. So I, I, I definitely am not there, and I didn't think about it for next turn. So this is on me. But if I was, so the reason I go for this is if I make it to the other side, which is mathematically possible, but not from where I was, obviously. If I make it to the other side. He has two choices. He he has one choice. He's going to go after... Um, if he goes after magic, right? So he's at this choice. He has to kill Strange. If he kills Strange, we're tied. We go to another turn. Going to another turn is with me, with Pryo. Strange on one. It's probably close. Um, but I wake up, I still don't have books back. <laughs> How much power does, Bill has no power over in the corner, so he's not going to be able to do a ton. So if Bill will survive, I mean, so if it's Bill versus Voodoo, Voodoo probably has advantage. I have priority. So like, if I make it there, right, he has two choices. He has to go after magic. I don't even know what he does. Like, okay. If, if I make it there, I have the point over Bishop. And I have the point over Emma because they're injured. He really can't kill Magic, I don't think. Because if he attacks her, if he doesn't one-shot her, she'll bump to the point. Well, she'd be on the point in this particular scenario. She's on the point, And I have, like, potential sack into my own rhino for the second one and that's even worse for him because like even if he goes over there to contest it right he'd have to w either walk over there to, con to contest it or go after strange and contest strangers no he can't contest he has to win the point that's right he has to win the point not contest because if he contests i win because i win the bottom one so rhino has to rhino would have had to kill strange and make it go to a turn three so if i make it there it goes to a turn a turn three or another turn with me having at least, like, plays to be made with Pryo and, um, you know, Strange there. and so Because he would have had to kill Strange. So Strange would have woken up. Oh, nice. So Strange would have woken up on full power with an Emma and a Rhino next to him. And the Rhino had... Rhino would have had no... Two power, three power. At the very least, I could have, like, moved his Rhino away. And stuff like that. It's not like he had a robbery, so. Um, yeah, I, I think in hindsight, when I'm thinking about it, I was like, that was the play to try to go over there. If not, it's like, it's okay, it's a 3% or he doesn't kill Strange. And if he doesn't kill Strange, we tie. Yeah, so it wasn't like, it's either 3% to kill Strange or, or try to make the measurement and get over there. So I think it was fine, despite what people think. Um, I don't even think I found every like positioning error that I, I messed up on. There's definitely a lot more, a couple ones. The last turn, Voodoo shouldn't have chased Bill. Like there's kind of moments where he could have, like you know, I should I could have stole from Rhino early. There's probably something with possessing. I think the ones that stand out to me the most are the Rhino play where I didn't kill a Koye and, and I went after Emma. I think that was the one that kind of like. I even thought about it, and I should have just attacked Okoye. That was the biggest mistake, in my opinion. 
Now that maybe there's something that led up to that moment that was a mistake that I could have thought about more. I mean, there's always I, I already commented on some of the mistakes I made going in with like ordering, like the turn before, but like as far as like nothing he could do, I get to choose between Okoye and and Emma and, and have a good shot to kill whichever one I attack because it's either three dice, you know, reroll one or it's four dice and one I two. I ended up doing the hell. I, I, the way the dice when I would have done the damage. Um, that I think that was a big one. I think that set up a, a poor going into last turn where I might have the... I would have probably had... Maybe not the advantage, but something better than it was. I could have also... Like, teleported Bill... Towards Rhino... To give Rhino something to do and make him activate Bill next. I don't know. That would have been dumb, I feel like. I feel like that would have been dumb. But it doesn't matter. Right? Bill had one power. He recalled. Yeah. That was in... So when I was in... Yeah, and maybe like, yeah, the Quay being alive. I'd say from a tactical position, I, I went over the things that I would have done differently. I think from, you know, if you want to talk about dice, which I don't like to, I think the big ones was, obviously I one-shot Toad. I mean, I, I took out Toad with, with Shang in one attack, so that was fine. I think a Koye living through as much as she did was very obnoxious. Like, she took a lot of attacks. Like, and, and I'm not, they, they weren't even like, they're quality attacks. They're like mystic piercing attacks. Not like, I get blanks. Like, she never got blanks on any attack I did. Even with Rhino. So like, from a perspective perspective, like, the bitch, she should have died. Um, way earlier, I think. Um, and I think it would have been big if I killed her. But I think that, you know, it was a good game. I'm happy to have played pretty well. You know, obviously Curtis is my friend and meat man, so I'm happy he's one of us is in the finals. Um, I did say this in the interview, but I do think he's better versus Sooner's List than I am. I actually think I... Like, there was a, there was a thought, because I went in... I was thinking about the future matchup in the finals if I make it. I was like, ooh, if we get, like, 19 intrusions... If we got 19 intrusions, I'd probably play unaffiliated against in the finals. I'd probably play, like, Ultron, Rhino, Shang, Dynamo, Bullseye, some bullshit like that. Um, I, I just don't... I don't think my team matches up versus X-Force well. Um, and I said this in interviews as well. Like, it's X-Force. I don't... Like, if you gave me the choice of Sooner playing a different affiliation or a, a worse player playing x-force i'd probably play sooner on a different affiliation i think that's less scary than playing x-force even like a weaker x-force player because i don't know i don't some people claim x-force is i play a little x-force i don't find it the most difficult affiliation to play like i guess that the, your plan a is only your plan a and if your plan a fails you don't have a plan b but does that make it hard? It just makes it that you have to do the plan A and you have to do it well. And obviously there's some micro movement stuff and decisions. I'm not saying there's not because I played them and, and felt it as well. I felt the lack of a plan B with displacement stuff, but that doesn't make it. I still, it's it's on my top three affiliations that I don't care how strong the player is. I just find them scary to play against and you can always, it's kind of like guardians in that sense. Um, so I'm hoping Curtis wins, obviously think he has a better shot than i do so i have that solace of like i'd rather curtis win it than me losing the finals i'll put it that way uh, because you don't I mean, other than getting your plaque I mean, second doesn't get you anything fucking fucking special so let's go root for curtis even though he's hellfire um i think he's played great this event and uh yeah that's my review of the game thanks for listening